Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a colouring catch up. Um, I'm on holiday. I'm down in Pembrokeshire. It's really lovely. The sun is shining. So you're probably wondering why am I sitting in the house colouring. And it's just simply because Paul's watching the football. It's the World Cup and England are playing today. So we're going to carry on uh, colouring in, in designer desserts. I keep calling it delicious desserts, but it, that's the Jade Summer book. It's designer desserts, creative haven. Um, so we're going to con continue that, have a bit of a catch up while he's watching the football. And then we're going down to the beach. Yes, we are. We are. I had to buy a new sharpener, because so, mine's not sharpening my colour soft. So I bought one of these from Tesco. It was only £1.50 and it seems to be fine. Um, I have bought a few more books. I am naughty. Now I am using the Prisma colours today. I didn't bring the Black Widows. I've got the Prisma colours because just because there's so many of them. Um, there's 150. So I'm using orange PC918. And I'm just going to colour in these balls at the, the at the bottom. So how are you all? It like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's very warm. It's in the mid 20s, which for the UK is pretty good we've been to a car boot sale this morning and we bought some records so if you want to see what we bought at the boot sale pop on over to the vinyl vlog my other channel i'll try and remember to put a link below and um just have a look at what we bought so it was a massive car boot sale at caro which is only about 15 minutes away so we had a great time, it was lovely, very hot. Jennifer was good, she slept through most of the bit, but she got a bit grumpy towards the end because she was getting peckish, so we fed her. And then of course it's so hot out there that she was getting a bit overheated, so we were back home now, she's cooling off downstairs with Dad, watching the football. And um, yeah. So we're going to go down to the beach later. You would have seen, if you've seen, if you watched yesterday's vlog, short little vlog you would have seen the beach it's absolutely stunning so the other two books I bought with me are Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee and Nice Little Town which I only got in the week it was very hard to decide out of the 112 books I've got which ones to bring on holiday but well, I did so Yes, so we're hoping to go into Tenby one day this week and probably Pembroke. Um, I know there's a record shop in Tenby and I'm pretty sure there's one in Pembroke as well. Not 100% sure, but we'll have a look. And there's always cherry shops, it's always fun. And then when we get back home at the end of the week, the following Sunday we'll be going to a car boot sale. Yay, because there's one every other week at the um, Navigation Colliery site wanting to go to but it is absolutely gorgeous outside um it's baking i'm not very good at the heat i'm so looking forward to getting down to the beach and having a a paddle <laughs> i've bruised my foot somehow and it's painful on my right foot if i sit on it a certain way it's really agony and i keep obviously because it's hurting i keep knocking it so that's clever So yeah, Paul's happily watching the football. We're going to do a bit of colouring. So Jennifer's teething a little bit at the moment. She dribbles more than anything else. She doesn't find it too painful yet, which is good. But we know when it's starting to niggle because she makes this sort of like noise. But I got some teething gel, so you pop a little bit of that on there, and she's. I'm going to have to move again in a minute. But this is a beautiful place, Freshwater East. It's absolutely stunning. I would happily come here again. And we might bring her down next summer if we can afford it. So, but yeah, no, it's lovely. I've started reading a new book and it's by Peter James. I think oh, 
Do you know what? He puts dead in all of his titles and I can never, and because of that, I can never remember the title of the one I'm reading. Let me have a quick look. It's called. Have a look. Dead if you don't. But I'm only a few pages in, so I can't really tell you much about it except for I really like it. So I'm just gonna go over this bit with this orange as well, make it nice. So I have got obviously my laptop with me, we've got Wi-Fi, that's how I can upload these while I'm here and my vlogs. Um, but it also means that I can watch a few as well, a few videos. Not so many as normal because I normally watch them on my big TV at home and then when I comment I go onto the the phone. I use the phone when I'm commenting, but I tend to watch them on the, the big TV in the living room. It's just, I like watching them on the big screen. So there probably will be a colouring book haul fairly soon. Um, because I've bought a few new books. This is just a general colouring one. I've got a couple I need to finish, but oh, it's hard. I've got two on the, well, I've got quite a few whips at home that I want to finish. And then I can do a coloured pages, completed coloured pages update thing. Um, I know I said at the beginning of the year, I was gonna try and colour at least one page in every single book. But I keep buying books and I'm, I'm buying more books than I'm colouring so it's not good. But at least this one's got a page card or it will have when I finished it. So. But yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's very beautiful where we are. Absolutely stunning. It's very very sunny. We, we, we got lucky last year when we came on holiday the, the weather wasn't as good and it was a bit grey and nasty and uh, it rained a bit but it doesn't look like it's going to do that at all this week it just looks like it's going to be absolutely gorgeous which is nice. I mean Peanut hasn't been in the sea yet so she hasn't really seen much of it so I'm hoping to take her in the sea this afternoon she's got a little swimming costume and I got swimming nappies and all that stuff so what we'll do is I'll uh, take her down there and see what she makes of it The only thing I don't like about Cohen away is that uh, Peanut doesn't get to see her granddad and granny. And nanny and granddad. And she loves her granddad very much. He's very, oh, he's amazing. My dad with kids, he's absolutely brilliant. So it's a shame that, uh, but you know, we gotta have a holiday. We need a break. It's nice to be away, just the three of us. There. So I'm going to do the little hearts now. So I'm going to find a nice red. It's a nice red. That one will do. And this one is Scarlet Lake. I think I like this one because it's going down. Actually, it's got a good point on it. I do. I think I'll do the shoe in this color. So let's just get this here. Yeah, it's not the best because the way it is. Is this up at all? No, it's not. I'm just trying to get the camera slightly better, but it's very difficult because I'm in a, a different location that I'm not 
I'm colouring actually on a book on the bed because obviously oh, Paul's downstairs and it's only one room downstairs. I don't think you'd want to hear all the football. <laughs> you might do, but... I might change the angle a bit if I can. I think this bed is slightly higher than the one at home, because I sometimes colour on that one as well. But, uh, I'll just see if I can adjust it. It won't be a sec. Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? So, I'll probably end up getting pencil all over that. I'm just what that's it. That's it. That's where I want it. It's hard sometimes to get it right. I'm on an awkward angle, not like when I'm at home. So. Oh, Peanut's having a squeak. So yeah, she's been laughing and joking today. She's been really happy, to be honest. She's not keen when I leave, so to be careful. So this probably won't be too long a video because I'll probably have to go and make sure she's okay, so. She'll be getting hungry again soon, so. Bless her. So all she does is want to eat. Eat, sleep and do the other. I don't know what that is. She's a good girl. So yeah, I'm actually feeling very sleepy myself. It's this hot weather. I'm not very good in hot weather. I'm not gonna like, I hate it. I'm, th I'm not brilliant at hot weather. I'm really not. I do not like being hot, especially, I mean, it's not so bad if you're at home, you can just slob out in your underwear or t-shirt and boxes or whatever. But like when you're at work, it's like, you're buggered really because if it's hot in say the office, you can't really take so much off, can you? I mean, you're stuck with what you've got on, you know. I mean, that's why I always prefer the cold weather because you can always put something extra on. But as I say, if you're, if you're hot, there's only so much you can take off before you get arrested. <laughs> and then if I don't want to get arrested. Oh. So when we get back in July, I am thinking of doing a challenge and I'm hoping you guys will join in with me. Um, if you want to, if you're a member of the Reading With Pugs uh, Facebook group, there is an album on there. Basically, she's got an album for all colour tubists, all colour tube people, so that um, if they're running challenges or colour alongs and things like that, you can post your pictures in there. So if you can post your picture in there if you if you really want to uh, do it with me. Oh, she's chatting. Oh, I love her. So I, what I thought I wanted to do was a uh, uh, the Oh god, I can't even get it out. Is to pick a a picture, any picture that you would. So nothing, nothing, something like a fantasy, nothing fantastical, because that's that'll be against the point. So pick something really normal, mundane a picture. Say from, I mean, not mundane, because no current book's mundane. But say picture, pick a picture from something like My Little Town. Uh, where you've got um, just buildings or um, beautiful dresses or beautiful women by Jade Summers, something like that, and paint it psychedelic. So I'm talking purple skies or bright pink skies and green faces or blue faces and um, purple leaves and yellow trees and just do everything completely you know, different from how it would be in reality. So I'm one of those people who, when I colour, I tend to colour realistically. So it's to get me out of doing that. So it's going to be a psychedelic challenge. 
So um, I haven't picked a picture yet, but I will pick it soon and I'll show you what it is. And it'll be something that'll have a person and a tree in it or something like that or the beach in it. And we're going to colour it really in psychedelic colours. So get your psychedelic albums out, get your Prickle Harum and your Spirit and your Sergeant Pepper. Get those albums out and just go mad. So, go as mad as you want, so with different colours and so I, I want to see purple faces or blue faces and green skies and yellow trees and pink rivers. And let's make it let's make it as weird and wonderful as possible. Use fluorescence if you want. Use as many different colours as you can. Bright colours, fluorescent colours. And just make it as no, that's not the one I want. I picked the wrong pencil out. I want the one that's next to it. That's this one. Yeah, just make it as psychedelic as possible. So, you know, let me know. Oops, that one broke. Hang on, is it broken in the thing? Oh, yeah, hang on. I've just got to get this bit of pencil out. Oh, somebody's getting a bit loud. Oh, use a different colour. Oh, I'm not doing very well, am I? I'm just making a right mess. So that's the plan. When I get back, that's what we're going to do. If you want to join in, that's fine. It'd be nice, it'd be a laugh, something to do. It's just to challenge myself, really. So, anybody's welcome to join in. Absolutely anybody. So, I'm going to go soon because she's kicking off. <laughs> so, there's another football match next Thursday, so I might do another one then if I can. So, we're not going to get much done today. But, uh, I'm having a bit of trouble. I've got nothing to empty this in. I'll be back in a minute, hopefully. Right, well, I haven't stood in my pencil sharpener because there's no bins in the bedroom for some reason. And Peanut has decided that she's going to kick off. So, I am actually going to have to call it a day there, but we'll come back and do a bit more later on. Um... I think I'm going to do some of these handbags lilac or something like that, I think. Um, I'll decide on the colours and then we'll come back and do a bit more filming later in the week. So, she's she's getting hungry is what it is. She's just getting hungry. So, she's she wants feeding. She wants some food. She's, uh, she, to be honest, she's been a good girl. It's very hot. She's very warm. I mean, her dad's down there. She's not on her own. So yeah, I quite like that. Now. That's a nice colour, that is. Now she stopped, so she's quite a strange girl. She'll cry for a little bit and then she'll just stop. So she she does constantly want to be the centre of attention, and I don't blame her. She's she deserves it. So, so currently England are winning 5 0. Well, they were at half time. They're playing Panama. I don't follow it. I, I really. I'm not big on football, which is why I'm up here. Although, I'm going to go and sort her out now. So, I'm going to remember what colour this is to do the bottom with. And it is uh, PC934. But I just put it backwards, upside down in the pencil case. So, I know where it is. So, we haven't really done much. We've had a quick chat and a catch up. But. Um, We'll do a bit more another time, but I better go and sort her out. So 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed this very quick colour and catch up. I will be back soon. I can't wait to get down the beach. I will be going down there very, very soon. Um, so happy colouring everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye.